Hello everyone, I just first want to mention that this entire video is an opinion. This video isn't made to encourage everyone to start farming, so please stop typing that comment and maybe save it for later. Anyways, what I want to talk about in this video is a bit more controversial than what I would usually show in my other videos. It's about farming. Yes, you've read the title of the video. Now give me a few minutes to explain a little bit, because I know people are likely to jump into conclusions, and that's not very good. Alright, allow me to be straightforward. Just play what you want. It might be street maps, jump maps, tech maps, hard rock, hidden double time, and etc. It does not matter. Now, look, this really does depend on what you're playing this game for. You might be here to have fun, maybe you're focusing on improving, or maybe you're just playing the game because you're afraid that if you were to quit then you'd never be as skillful as you were, therefore making you worthless and a complete failure as a human being. Okay, hopefully not the last one. Now, remember, if your main goal is to improve, then of course there are certain things to look out for. But for now, let's put that aside because I'm not making a video on how to improve. Now, there are some quote-unquote elitists within the community, and from my understanding, they're basically just people who blatantly look down upon others for playing form maps. Whether they had the intention to form or not, it doesn't really matter that much. Honestly, these are the people I find quite annoying if they're just bothering someone who's having an overall good time. Now, if someone's complaining about their overall skill after only playing 1 minute hidden double time maps or all of eternity, then that's really just a whole nother thing. I understand if you're being a bit skeptical right now, as you check my OSU user page, seeing all my hidden double time plays along with the infamous Hiromagic Clover on my top plays. But remember, that this entire video is an opinion. You don't have to listen to me, a random person on the internet you haven't subscribed to. Although to further increase the length of this video, I've invited my dear friend to speak his own opinion, so people don't call me out for being absolutely biased, because I am. And when it comes to these kinds of things, bias is kind of inevitable. After all, it's just my opinion. Farming nowadays did create a more toxic environment in the community. That is true. Probably because the anti-farm elitists come from a place where they can't stand the sheer monotony of it. Or worse, they just can't become accustomed to the skill set needed in order to play jumpy farm maps and by extent end up hating everyone who plays them and try to downplay the plays and the players who fit into that category at every occasion. And here we end up on the anti-farm elitist's opinion because apparently I do fit the criteria. God damn it, man. Personally, I think it's a blame the game, not the player sort of situation. And unfortunately, there are players who have to flame just because they take an optimized route to play in the game. And honestly, there's not much you can do about that. Anyways, that's not all that important. At the end of the day, what should you do? My honest take on this is you do what you want. Everybody can play farm maps suited to the skill set at their own will, and if they enjoy it as well, more power to them, because this is a game and we need to enjoy playing it in our own way, right? Like I mentioned, you can't control what others think, so what else can you really do other than what the previous guy said and not pay attention to what others believe, especially if you're a newer player? Focusing on yourself should be your priority. This is where I need to mention something that's really important. If you're new to the game, chances are you're excited to improve at the game. However, it is just as likely that you haven't formed a good mindset on how to improve yet, or even how to measure how much you improved. And you might look at how much performance point you get as a measure for improvement, instead of actual skill. And that's where the problem comes from. A lot of people will be tempted to focus on jump farm maps and to drop everything else in favor of it, simply because that's the playstyle which will grant them the biggest performance point gains. But I have to warn you, if you base your enjoyment of this game solely on the amount of ranks you gain, then I have to tell you that's not sustainable, dude. That's a one-way ticket to depression town, most likely. Sooner or later, you hit a wall and it's gonna feel miserable. Even more so if you won't have another skill to fall back onto. It will be hard to find enjoyment in this game if gaining ranks was the only thing you found enjoyable up until that point, and the moment you lose that, it will become very hard to regain motivation. Basically. That's why it's bad to let what gives you performance points to find what's fun to you. Try out other maps formed around other various skill sets. Who knows? Maybe even find farm maps related to another skill set that isn't short 1 2 jumps. Variety is key for having fun, but also for longevity in this game. I'm not saying you should ignore aim completely. That's one of the paths to becoming one of those better anti farm elitists. You should definitely work on your aim as it's an essential skill and 1-2 maps have their place in developing it, probably. Just don't become tunnel visioned on just one skill set and one type of map. 
I think this game is far more enjoyable when you can play a variety of maps, not just a single type. Even if you choose to become a player who's specialized on one skill set, doing that while also having the rest of your fundamentals up to a decent level is definitely the best way to go around it. To sum up, farming is okay, within some limits, just do not overdo it and take care. Peace. Alright, well, that'll be all for now, but before you leave, it would be great if you consider subscribing and maybe checking out my other content. Thanks for 2000 subs and thank you for watching until the end of the video. Hope you have a great day and please enjoy game.